Behold, Science Maximites, I am Viltron 2.0. I have changed myself into a cyborg to give myself super strength. No longer will I suffer the weakness of human muscles. Behold my awesome strength. Tremble in fear at my might. I will... Hmm. I may have to give myself some upgrades. Uh, yeah, so, okay. Maybe I'll just give myself super strength the old-fashioned way, using the power of science. Today is all about mechanical advantage, like this fulcrum and this lever, transferring a lot of force over a short distance or a little bit of force over a long distance and vice versa. We are going to be building a trebuchet. A trebuchet. So a trebuchet looks a lot like a catapult, but a catapult uses elastic force to throw something, and a trebuchet uses the good old lever. There's a lot of weight on the short end of the lever, and on the other side of the pivot is the long end, and we've got a sling here with a marble in it, and we put that down here on the ground, and then we let it go, and whoosh, whoosh, it throws the marble. To build your trebuchet, here's what you need. Something to be your lever, like a pencil. Something to be your weight, I used batteries. You'll need to make a frame, and I use craft sticks and cardboard for that. A way for it to pivot, like a straw and a shish kebab skewer. Then you'll want a sling, which is a rope, and something to hold your projectile, like plastic netting. Finally, something to hold it all together, like glue. Get your craft sticks, make some triangles with one craft stick sticking up. Then get your craft sticks and make a base, a base which you will put on with your cardboard like that. Now you'll also probably want to make some extra supports that go off the bottom there like that. Then get your pencil and cut a piece of straw so that you can see right through it and you can get a shish kebab skewer and you stick it through the straw like that and that's your pivot point, your fulcrum for your lever. What you wanna do is put your weights, I've used some batteries, you can use anything that's heavy, on the short end of the lever. That's important because a lot of weight here translates to a little bit of weight going a lot faster on the other end. So, a lot of weight on the short end, and then on the long end of the pencil where the eraser is, you wanna take a toothpick and stick it into the top of the eraser and then cut it off so it's just like that. That creates a little hook that you put the loop of your string net on so that when it gets flipped around, the loop comes off and then throws your projectile that way. And then of course you need something that you want to fire. I like to use marbles, but gumdrops work pretty well because they're nice and soft. And you put it in and you pull it all the way down, all the way so it's actually resting on the cardboard like this. And then you let it go. And it fires, and there you go, a trebuchet. Now, if you want to research how to build one of these yourself, it is called a trebuchet. Ha <laughs> trebuchet. I can make it come up, but I can't make it go away. I don't know why that works like that. Anyway. <laughs>